Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have C plus 9 whole square equals to 81 and we solve this problem for the values of C. And now here we will solve this problem for two methods. Uh, please uh, give, please tell me which method uh, you like into the comment section. Uh, and if you have any other method in your mind, please don't hesitate to uh, write this method into the comment section. So uh, here first we uh, move forward for method number one. Uh, and now here in this method, we need to focus in the right hand side. And here we move this uh, 81 in the left hand side. And so when we move this 81 in the left hand side, it will be written as C plus 9 whole square minus this will becomes 81 equals to 0 uh, and now here in the next step uh, we rewrite um, this algebraic expression as this is c plus 9 whole square minus now we write this 81 as 9 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further in the next step here we need the nice algebraic formula you know that if you have a square minus b square it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b uh, according to this formula you see here the value of our a is c plus 9 and the value of our b is only 9 uh, so here we can just substitute these two values in the right hand side of this formula uh, so we will get the output of the above equation is written in this form first we have a minus b here our a is c plus 9 minus b is 9 only into here we have a plus b so here our a is c plus 9 and plus b is uh, plus 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we need more simplifications and uh, we will uh, simplify both of these factors as here you see that uh, this is negative and positive term are cancelled out by each other and we get here only c into here we have this is c plus 9 plus 9 becomes here 18 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step Mm, we will just divide uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c equals to 0 the second case is we write c plus 18 equals to 0 so here from first case you see that uh, this is the first real solution of the given equation that is c equals to 0 and from uh, for other solution we need to move this plus 18 to the right hand side and we will get here our c is equals to minus 18 so this is the our second solution of the given equation so these are the uh, two solutions of the given equation which we get here from method number one and now here similarly we uh, need to proceed here uh, this question for method number two so uh, for second method here um, we need to first uh, copy down the given question statement here so that the given question statement is c plus 9 whole square equals to 81 so now we again solve this problem for second method uh, and now here in this method uh, we uh, just uh, we need to just expand um, the left hand side and in the left hand side we have uh, c plus 9 whole square uh, and we very well know about uh, uh, this square we, uh, we know this formula a plus b whole square equals to a square plus 2 times of a b plus b square so now here uh, we need to apply this nice formula in the left hand side of the, the given equation mm, so uh, after applying this formula it will be written as c square plus 2 times of a b here our a is c and b is 9 plus b square so here our b is 9 square this is equals to 81 
and now here further uh, we need more simplifications and you write it as c square plus this is 9 to the 18 times of c plus this 9 square equals to 81 and we move this 81 in the left hand side it will become minus 81 and this whole equation equals to 0. So you see here this is negative 81 and this is positive 81 are cancelled out by each other and we will get uh, c square plus 18 c and this whole equation equals to 0 and now you see that we have uh, c be the common term from these two uh, terms so here when you take common c uh, because this is c square when you take common c we get here 1 c and when you take common c from here we will get plus 18 only and this equation equals to 0 so now here we divide uh, this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c equals to 0 and the second case is we write c plus 18 equals to 0 so again we get uh, the solution of the given equation is c equals to 0 and from here uh, we move this plus 18 to the right hand side and it will becomes minus 18 so this is the our second solution of the given equation so you see here uh, from both of these two methods we will get uh, the same answers of c uh, and now here in the next step uh, we need to verify these values of c is these values of c satisfied our given question statement or not so for a verification here uh, we first copy down the given question statement here it is c plus 9 whole square equals to 81 and now first we verify our c equals to 0 and so we can put the value of c equals to 0 in the left hand side of the given equation so that when you put this value here it will be written as 0 plus 9 whole square equals to 81 and now further in the next step we have 0 plus 9 equals to 9 square equals to 81 and you clearly see here we have 81 equals to 81 this shows that the value of c equals to 0 satisfied the given question statement now we will uh, check uh, our given question statement for the value of c equals to uh, minus 18 uh, and now here when we substitute the, the value of c equals to minus 18 into this uh, statement so uh, it will be written as uh, minus 18 plus 9 whole square equals to 81 and you see that minus 18 plus 9 equals to minus 9 whole square equals to 81 and minus 9 square equals to 81 equals to 81 so this shows that the value of c equals to minus 18 satisfied the given question statement this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos